Grade 7 Math, number 9.5b, Volume of a Trapezoidal Prism. You saw this in the last video, the formula for the volume of a prism. V equals VH, that's volume equals space times height, and we can use this for any prism. To find the volume of a trapezoidal prism, we need the formula for the base of a trapezoidal prism, and that's B equals half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So, here's base 1, and here's base 2 of the trapezoid. So we have to add the 4 centimeters and the 2 centimeters. See if that's 2 centimeters and that's 2 centimeters? The height of the trapezoid is 3. So we've got to do 4 plus 2 times that 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. Half of 6, because that's what the formula says, half of it is a 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So we know the area of that trapezoid is a 9. Now we do the V equals BH, volume equals base times height to find the volume. And the base, 9 times its height, we stand it on its end so that the height is the lateral side, is a 6. We get 54 centimeters cubed. That's the volume of the trapezoidal prism. Okay? Now what would happen if we cut this in half, the 6? Instead of a 6, what if it were a 3? So we cut it in half to a 3 and all the other measures are the same. We still have our 4 plus 2, the two bases, times 3. So we get 3 times 3, and that's 9 centimeters squared. Okay? Well, that's what we had last time, remember? When we were doing it when it was a 6. But now it's going to change, because now we're going to do the base times the height. And the base is 9, and now the height for the lateral side is a 3. It's 27 centimeters cubed. So by cutting the lateral side in half here, Instead of a 6, it's a 3, the volume cut in half. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, what happens if we cut this height in half and we keep the 6, but instead of a 3 for the trapezoid height, it's only 1 and a half? Well, we get the same thing for the base, 4, and base 2. We add those together and get a 6, and we need to multiply that by a half, so that's a 3. And now, instead of multiplying it by a 3, which was the old height of the trapezoid, it's a 1 and a half now, see? And we get 4.5 centimeters squared for this trapezoid, for the base. Now we can do the base times the height. And 4.5, what we got for the base, times this 6 lateral side height, is 27 cubic meter, centimeters, see? So by cutting that height here in half, we cut the volume in half. See? By cutting the lateral side height in half or by cutting, cutting the trapezoid's height in half, we got half the volume. But what would happen if we took this 2, 3, 4, and 6 and doubled every single one of them and made them a 4, 6, and an 8, and a 12, okay? So instead of 4, that's now an 8. Instead of 3, that's now a 6. Instead of 2, it's a 4. And instead of 6, that's a 12. It's all doubled. So now we add the base 1 and base 2, the 4 and the 8, and we get 12. We need to multiply that by half. Half of 12 is a 6. And we need to multiply it by this trapezoid height of 6. So that's 36 centimeters squared for the trapezoid base, OK? Now we have to do the volume part of it. The base, 36, times its height on its lateral side of 12 is 432. Well, by doubling all these measures, we made it eight times bigger, 432 centimeters cubed instead of 54. That's eight times larger by doubling all the measures. Isn't that amazing how that happened? So. Now you know what happens when we play with the measures on a trapezoid for the volume, okay? All right, we're going to talk about the volume of a composite figure next, and I hope to see you there, and I hope this helped. Bye.